This is my 1970 Rat Rod Beetle. And when I first got this car back in September, I had a pretty good idea that I wasn't going to use the factory heat and probably suffer with no heat at all since we don't have a terrible winter here in Kentucky. But uh, I knew I was going to miss it a little bit, but I got to speaking with the gentleman by the name of Stephen Price in England, and he told me about Chinese diesel heaters. So I did some research, and I bought a 2-kilowatt heater from eBay, and it worked fairly well, but still, you know, it wasn't quite what I was hoping for. And I got a recall notice on it. Supposedly I was sold one that was bootleg. It was two kilowatt. It had a plastic case. And you never seemed to quite get away. It, it, you could almost smell plastic fumes all the time. It wasn't diesel at all, but it was plastic. So I did some research. And I came across a five kilowatt heater with an aluminum case. And that has solved all of my issues. And I even have a recirculating heating system. I bring air in from the cabin through this three inch duct. It goes down to an elbow. It feeds into the heater. It's reheated. And then it's taken back up to this duct, which has an elbow that goes down through the firewall and I have a vent on that side that I can turn off and when I turn that off it directs air to the defrosters. Now this heater comes with just about everything you need. It comes with a huge gas tank which I got rid of that and I found this fuel tank <coughs> from a mini bike on Amazon. It's like 30 bucks. I put a fuel shot off on it and this tank or this heater comes with the upgraded hard fuel lines. You want the hard fuel lines. Now I'm feeding this with 3 16 fuel line. Just regular rubber line to the pump. Now out of the pump I've got hard lines. Um, the exhaust for the heater runs right out through the bottom of the car. I don't even hear it while it's going. I carry a uh, carbon monoxide detector. And another thing I did to this heater, it came with a controller called the Blue Controller, and I didn't care for it. So I had bought this other controller for my 2 kilowatt heater. Come to find out it's directly compatible, it's easier to operate, and my god this thing puts out a ton of heat. It starts right up. It performs perfectly and I'm getting all kinds of nice hot air. It's running about 180 degrees at the vent which is about what my F-150 runs. So uh, anyways if I had to recommend a setup for a Volkswagen this would be the route to go and I will furnish links in my video for all of the stuff.